Good morning. Today is the 21st of uh, May 2017. This is an image of some weather that I saved a few years ago probably over the Congo of Africa and it's, it's just way oversized. I have it overlaid over the earth just oversized in the middle of the Pacific so I can show you this overlay here. Remember the crater from yesterday. This crater here. Same same one I brought up yesterday. Well, I was going through some of my older images, which would be this image I just showed you. This one here. And I overlaid it inside the circle of Schrodinger Basin. And, I mean, you can see, I just had to find one thing to line up. And that would, that basically became this little uh, point right here. Is what I aligned. You can see, ooh. It lines up really good. See how it's got this edge right here? And then it's got the point there? Check it out. That's basically where I, I, I saw that. I started with that. That's where I... So I once I got that aligned, I just looked at the rest of it. And I can see, with that in place, right where it is, I mean, you see how this got this, this exit here? outside the circle this triangular exit that comes outside the edge of the circle which would be like right here just like this crater does woo interesting how did that just how is that coincidence I mean it really it's I mean this part down here is it kinda screws me up a little bit but this this is a crater or mountain or something on the earth and it's really close to being right next to this thing or this one here so it's to me that's close enough you know, because it's never, not always right on, or it could be right where it is. It could be right there. You know, this that curve, that, that line right there could go somewhere in this, this area. I mean, I don't trust everything 100% all the time. But, uh, you know, you gotta you got to look at those little things. I mean, this the way that this exits out in the right place after lining that point. And then you got that inner circle open, and you got that something happened here right there something obviously something took place right there and then we just have to go look in this area of the Congo or wherever the, yeah it's Congo right there okay so we have to look in that area for something similar in the geology that's what that would be my first thing now the thing is <laughs> the, the thing that puts this all together beautifully is I've put the supercontinent back together uh, with using the moon before many many times and the the overlay I showed you yesterday showed Colorado being the circle the, the storm that was over Colorado well basically I've so many times I've had North America aligned with the west coast right over here and this being in the same place where I showed you the storm yesterday over North America if I was to put North America here this would fall in the exact same place it was yesterday so that puts those two continents together it confirms basically that those two continents were together and that is the thing that creates both that's the crater that creates both this mark in the Congo and the, and the mark in North America at the same time it could be could have been from the hot spot on the earth that it created or it could be from an impact that, it, that created it whatever either one but it ties the two together completely like if I put the west coast of California right over here along the, uh, this line I'm making right here it would put this right right over Colorado pretty much so that is the same thing that's how I was able to put the earth together with using the moon because if I find two spots with which there's more than two spots where this crater fits the earth and the weather more than two spots I mean look at that look at that point again it's just those little things. That's the same exact angle. You can see this. The, the angle is exactly the same. It has a little dimple in the middle, and it, 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 the edge of it is exactly the same. And then it has this little look at this where it breaks off right here and comes through this these two orange spots. You can see something there. I'm just saying, it's something there too. There's something to it. Either they're showing it to us to mess with us, or there's something to it. And they put, you can, I can probably say that they put the words, the Congo there to hide whatever is below that. I don't know, I can turn the borders or the labels off, I guess, so maybe not.
but we can go to the Congo and look right there. There's some. Uh, see, this is another thing they do. They they hide everything by smoothing everything over until you get in close, and then you can see things when you get in close. But then you can't compare it to anything because you're so close. Now it's probably like this, this spot here, these lakes right here. That's probably where that thing goes. That dark spot on the moon probably goes with that or something like that. Some kind of maybe a mountain in this area. I guess it would be in this area, Congo, where it said Congo. So it probably are, probably is those lakes there, or something or this mountain right here. Something to do with this thing. Plateau. There you go. It is a plateau. This looks looks like it, right? This this plateau has something to do with that spot. I'd say. Hmm. But that weather pattern shows something. All weather shows something like that. Remember, I have this oversized, so. Check that out one more time. I'm just the exit that corner where it just exits it, you know what I mean? It's the same thing. Okay, everybody have a great day. Great Sunday. I don't want to take up too much of your time.